Well, hello. We're day 34 of isolation, shutdown, house arrest, whatever you want to call it, in Spain. And um, yeah, this is just a quick video to let you know how we're getting on. So Mr. Sanchez is preparing to extend the, the lockdown period. It was supposed to be to the 26th of uh, April. They're now going to extend it to the, at least the 10th of March. Although they are going to open up some of the industries. Um, I mean, at the moment, I noticed the other day that they're doing building work down the road. Still wearing a mask and keeping their distance. And they are, they're not working actually in a house. The house is being sort of like demolished. Um, so they're, they're keeping a the distance and they're doing everything properly. So they're going to try and open up a bit more now and try to make things a little bit more flexible. Um, it's rumoured that the schools will continue to be closed and that um, bars can be open for a flexible amount of time. I'm not sure how that's going to work. It's been a bit vague that one. Now the other thing is there's um, different different areas have got different views on this as regards children. Now I'm going to have to look at my notes for this because it's don't want to get the names wrong. Um, who is she? The mayor of Barcelona. Oh, I'm going to. Funny enough, I've got a name written down. <laughs> the mayor of Barcelona said publicly the other day uh, that. The, the confinement of children needs to be relaxed, and it needs to be relaxed now. It's barbaric that they're locked up indoors. She's a, she's a 48 year old, uh, sorry, no, she's a 46 year old, and she has a, th a three year old child and a nine year old child. So I can only guess that uh, she's having trouble with those and they're getting on her nerves. And she said that they must be allowed out. <laughs> anyway, but Madrid on the other hand, they're dead set against children going out on the street, as children play a key role in the transmission. They are, they, they rarely show any symptoms. So, the guys in Madrid are saying, "Keep your kids indoors. They're the ones we've got to look out for because they're, they're the ones that have got this damn thing, and they're not showing any symptoms, and they're going to pass it on to everybody else." So, yeah, and it's, so it's. It's not clear whether children will be allowed out to have any exercise or not. On a personal note, when I've been out to the supermarket shopping, it's been great. You know, I've, I've shopped locally, there's never any problem anyway, but the other, last Saturday I had to go out to a big supermarket about three kilometers away. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and, um, while I was there, there's only there's only one person allowed in the car anyway, so you can only so all you get is just one person per shopping trolley walking around, and it's great. There's no one there with two or three children in tow, running amok all around the shop. It's really good. I mean, I think, well, yeah, every weekend the kids should be locked indoors because it's it's fabulous. I'm really enjoying it, <laughs> and the same goes for. I would say old people, but I'm in that category myself, so I can't say old people. Doddery old people. People that can't make their mind up. People that go shopping, like a, a 50 year old woman takes her mother shopping, who might be in her 70s or 80s, and you're just, you're stuck behind them in an aisle as they're talking, and they can't make up their mind whether they should buy this or buy that. You don't get any of this, it's great. It's just one person, one trolley, and it's, yeah, that's one good thing that's come out of the coronavirus. A bit cynical, I know, but that's me. <laughs> so what's going to go on in the future? Well, we just don't know, do we? Van life, when will that return? Well, I don't know. This is going to go on for months and months, isn't it? We're coming to the end of April now. And uh, yeah, we're saying still be in isolation at the 10th of May. It's still going to go on for months after that. So might be looking at June before we're actually allowed to travel anywhere and that will only pretty sure that will only be within your own country so yeah anyway don't know how this is all affecting you lot out there 
or you two or three people that are watching this video. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you why not subscribe? Don't miss any of my ramblings. I do tend to ramble once I get in front of this camera now. Um, nothing political really t today. You know, I'm not going to slag off Bush like I did on the other one that I did. Although I still think he's an idiot. <laughs> but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say on this subject. If you're enjoying these videos, then subscribe. Click the like button. Also click that bell icon and you won't miss any more. So yeah, stay safe and we'll see you in the next video. And I think the next video, the one I'm working on at the moment, is a trip that we did to Venice. And um, yeah, that brought back some happy memories going through those and sorting it all out. So look out for that one and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.